Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're out South Central Butler County on Hickory Creek. And we've got a stone arch bridge there. It's been refixed a little bit on the buttresses on the bottom end, but these are still getting harder and harder to come by even here in Kansas. But there's still some left around. You kind of got to hunt them out and find them. But it's pretty and it throws you back to a different time with a different set of architecture was used here in the, here in the county in the rural areas. Today I'm going to try for you guys 10 South, Clayton James. Now Clayton James is the name of the whiskey, 10 South is the distillery. And I bought this in Linville, Tennessee, when me and my wife, we took a small vacation over there. We visited five different distilleries. We visited three little ones. And then of course, George Dickel and, and uh, Jack Daniels. This is the only bottle I bought. I tried at every distillery, but this is the only one I actually bought. And this is a 90 proof, 45% alcohol by volume, copper pot distilled. And of course, they're going to use the Lincoln County process, me in Tennessee. I also bought a Glen Cairn from them. Let's go ahead and get it poured and so we can get started on letting it air just a little bit. They had a single barrel version of this. And to tell you honestly, I like the, the small batch, the this smaller batch version much better than I did the single barrel. And I found that with the other distiller we visited, I liked the single barrel better than the small batch. But that distillery, everything still kind of tasted slightly young to me. This one still got the young flavor taste proportion to it, but it's, it's 51 months old. It says right there on the bottom. It tells you how old it is. So we're talking a little over four years old. You know, you're talking four years, three months old. And you can taste the difference. I think some of the stuff from that other distillery was only maybe two years old tops. Anyway, I digress there. We're here about this. Uh, like I said, it was 90 proof, 40, and it's got a beautiful, beautiful color on it, a beautiful mahogany brown in it. This one's, this one's really got a lot of deep color. Uh, it's really quite interesting. I want to set the bottle down. Oh, I'll hold it. What the hell? I only do this once. You still get some of the char. That's you're going to get. That's just part of the process. That Lincoln County process they use. But then there's the vanilla underneath that. I get more of a brown sugar, almost a molasses brown sugar on it. Because that's how molasses is made. They use, uh, I mean, brown sugar is made. It's a mixture of molasses, if I recall correctly, that's put into the sugar in the crystallization process. And I may be wrong about that, but if I remember correctly, that's what I see. It seems like my grandmother told me that. It's got good thick legs. I mean, we're talking some oily stuff here. It's got a slight floral character to it, but it's not a flowery floral. We're talking spice floral there we're coming in. Cardamom-like. When is a little spirit driving? I'll tell you right now. Again, brown sugar, brown sugar, charcoal, a slight bit of that. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I've said, I've noted it before on several things. A little bit of that pencil lead character, a slight metallic character to it. The cardamom finishes with that, that floral spice, similar to cardamom. And there's a little clove in there that's coming through now. Good on the palate. And it's even better on the finish. That's why I kind of like this one. The finish is really good. It's a medium, medium long finish. We're getting the charcoal. It's unavoidable. And the charcoal don't mind me as long as it's 
somewhat restrained and it's not dominating the spirit. There is a pleasant sweetness to this that and there's the vanilla. The, the nose and the palate really kind of follow each other in the sweet vanilla uh, brown sugar line, the way it follows there. But there's a slight minerally note to it, and it's not bad. It's, it accentuates the experience. Mm. That's why I bought it. This one was really good. I was, I think, I'm going to say I paid between 40 and 50 bucks for it, but don't quote me on that. And you got to remember, it's a startup distiller. It's small, so they're going to be a little higher price than what you normally see. But to me, it was a, I felt it was worth value because I got to taste it at the distillery, and it really, it clicked all my boxes, and it still does. I enjoyed the stuff. I don't know how easy or hard it is to get out on the open market, so good luck. I know it's probably available in Tennessee, but other markets, I can't speak to that. But I really like it. Clayton James, Tennessee Whiskey by 10 South Distillery. Linville, Tennessee. You can do a whole lot worse. Copper pot distilled. I'm enjoying it, enjoying it. I'm going to give it an 89 out of 100. And it's probably not going to score that high for a lot of other people. I'm not going to lie. But in my case, it clicks those boxes I enjoy. And I think I scored that high because it being a craft distiller and producing such a good spirit. I think it needs to, it, it finds a special place in what I, what I view and see it as. I was going to add water to it. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't need water. So 89 out of 100. Again, it's enjoyable. Remember, the spirit in your glass isn't running from you. Take your time, enjoy it. You'll be better for it, as will we all. Another view of the bridge and the creek, and I hope you get to enjoy it. I hope that camera's set well enough for it. It's a beautiful fall day. The leaves are starting to change. You can see the tree back there. It's just it's a wonderful, wonderful day to be out and about. Everyone, have a good afternoon.